I'm a bit too relaxed with things. I think, um, I guess that's just something that I'm always going to be. I'm a bit too chill. 22-year-old Nellie Jameson is a sales assistant and model from Sydney's Lower North Shore, with ambitions to be a television presenter. Initially, she was a reluctant entrant in Miss Universe Australia. My sister like pushed me into it and I was like, you have to do it, like, <laughs> all of this. So I entered and I got accepted and it's just crazy that I've come this far. Natalie is now one of seven young women chosen at the New South Wales finals to represent our state in the nationals. But it didn't come without cost. Especially in that section all entrants dread, the surprise question. If you could choose any news story of the past year to cover, what would it be and why? I noticed that in the um, state finals, you were standing there and you had to pause for a moment to think about the question again. What was going through your head? Nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. I was like, the one thing I don't want to do is get up there and just blank. And I did. And it was, I mean, you, you can kind of work your way out of it and just breathe and kind of think it's not you know, the end of the world if you, if you mess it up. But yeah, there wasn't much <laughs> happening up there. I just froze with that. Of course, there's more to Miss Universe than answering a question coherently. There's also strutting your stuff in front of a packed crowd. What does Nelly find tougher, evening gown or swimsuit? Yeah, it depends. I mean, obviously how much self-confidence you have, like, for me, swimwear is probably more nerve-wracking than evening wear. <laughs> um, just because being in a bikini in front of so many strangers is yeah. a bit nerve-wracking. I was speaking to another contestant a while ago who said that, you know, trying to get into that sexy persona was a bit hard for her. Would you say it was hard for you as well? Or Definitely. Is that one of her biggest challenges? Definitely. I think because, I don't know, like for me, I've always grown up as not that. Like I've never seen myself as that. I've never... Um, you know, portrayed myself as sexy. So to think of myself as sexy would be really weird, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah, I just think it's a really weird thing to kind of put, put, put my head around. But Natalie believes her laid back Aussie chick demeanor could give her an edge in the competition. I think that me being who I am kind of differentiates myself from the rest of the group. And I think you definitely need to find that thing that, you know, sets you apart from everyone else. And I think that part of my personality definitely s separates me. And so how important do you think it is to be yourself while you're competing for Miss Universe? It's so important. Like I was saying to you before, you just have to have fun with it as well. Like if you can't have fun with these these kinds of things, you're, you're never going to, I just don't think you're going to be very successful. And I think just having fun being yourself, you know, I think that's so important. But does succeeding in the pageant require more effort than Natalie thought? It's a lot more work than I expected. <laughs> I guess when you watch these girls, you don't see all the backstage, you know, time and preparation that goes into it. But yeah, I mean, it's so much fun. I can't, I can't even believe it's up to the finals. Like, it's crazy. But it is time for the finals, which are being held on Friday night. Do you know what? Okay, so <laughs> when I first ended, I was like, I'm not going to win. It's going to be whatever and just didn't think much of it now that I've gotten so far I want this so bad like <laughs> I think when you come so close to winning that you know you kind of think about it and you're like oh wow like I could actually win this and yeah it's very exciting but I feel so proud to win definitely and we're sure that Natalie will do New South Wales proud when the Miss Universe Australia finals are staged this Friday in Melbourne this is Sarai Fuda for the Daily Telegraph